Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler, and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, I'm Chris from the Redman TV. I'm here with Flav from the Fighting Cock podcast. Um, obviously, big Tottenham fan. We've got Tottenham at 12:45 on Saturday. Jurgen Klopp's first game in charge. What do you think about that? I mean, what do you think about the appointments, and how do you think the game will go because of it? I'm gutted. I really am. I loved uh, Brendan Rodgers. I wanted him to stay forever. Seems like that's what everybody seems to think. He's a nice guy. Getting noise, wasn't it? Basically, got a character. Um, <laughs> no, I mean to be fair, I'm I'm, I'm gutted because Rodgers is gone because I think ultimately he was the wrong person in a job. But like, you weren't in too bad a position before he went. I think the clock was probably lined up beforehand. You get someone of that name and that quality, it's kind of he was on borrowed time, weren't he? And um, it seems and like it was premeditated, doesn't it? Because yeah, yeah, the way absolutely. that it came in with the international break, you know, we've already spoken to his backroom staff, they've come in, but the club obviously can't say that it was lined up pre. Yeah. Um, the thing that would shock Liverpool fans, I suppose, at the time was that it came after the draw with Evan. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll forget about the past now, looking forward to the future in the game of Spurs. I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm obviously going down there for the game. Mm. I don't know what to expect from Liverpool under the clock right now because it's going to take time, isn't it, for him to instigate his tactics? He's a similar manager to Pochettino to some degree. Uh, there's, they both like to craft players. Um, you look at Spurs' team, if someone told me that we'd be starting six players from our academy or the work their way through our youth team uh, you know, a couple of years ago, I would have laughed at them because what he's actually done is find players. He understands football in a way that most football fans don't. And one one thing we were talking about earlier is Dyer in, in in defensive midfield. That's not his position. It's not his natural position. He's a, a defend a centre back or a right back, and he's been our best player this year. And if Klopp can bring that through at Liverpool as he did with all of those players at Dortmund, you know you you you've got it sussed really. That said, he got a lot of time. Yeah. Um, I would in in three or four years time, despite winning the league twice, if Klopp and Liverpool were bottom of the league come Christmas, would he get the time in England? I don't know. I think the philosophy and then ideas about what supporting a football club is in Germany is very different in England. I think he's going to need time and patience, and probably Liverpool are better. The Liverpool fan base are better at that than most clubs. Yeah, I think we are. I mean, you know, there is a bit of a danger with Hodgson and, and Dalglish and Rodgers that we might change that. But I think every Liverpool fan thinks that Klopp's a perfect fit for us, so he will be given time. He's united the fan base already before the game's even started. Uh, what I wanted to ask you about uh, with Spurs is, where do you think your danger men are? Who are the people that we need to look out for this weekend? I think uh, it's, it's not a typical answer, really. Our danger comes in our system and, and the way we play and, and the high tempo. If we're, if we're playing that style, and I think Klopp plays a similar game, so it'd be interesting how the two teams cancel each other out and if that will happen. But our, 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 our decent play comes from the way the team works together. So we have got danger men. Kane hasn't been finishing this season, but he's a great finisher of the football. Um, our front three of Lamella, uh, Son and Eriksen can be dangerous on their own, but it's about the system we play. Yeah. And if we're playing well, we beat most teams, Liverpool included. Um, we saw what we did against Man City. Everything fell into place in that game. City didn't play magnificently well, but we didn't allow them to and if the system works then we have danger all over the place it's just it doesn't always work so one score predictions 2-1 uh, yes 2-1 Liverpool thank you very much end of video I've been Chris from Redman TV that's been Flav from the Fighting Cock leave your comments of course below uh, we do check them out we will be replying to people for an hour after the video goes live of course give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and actually I'll tell you what right I've listened to the Fighting Cock it's absolutely brilliant go and give them a listen as well thank uh, you very much. Uh, it's the love the shirt uh, on Twitter, fightingcock.co.uk. My website. Flav, nice one, mate. No worries. For the first game against Spurs, we couldn't get the whole thing changed, but we might have one or two. Looking forward to what's he going to do? Yeah. You know what's he going to do that will make the di a difference? Yeah. The other thing for me is that, for me, the Rogers era probably ended with the Tottenham game last year. Yeah. Uh, that was like the final swan song of our at that. Way Liverpool play, like, yeah. yeah, and we won three 0 and everyone thought, oh, brilliant! This is a Mario's come in a couple of 